Hey everybody, my name is Madi Rosa. I am a singer and a songwriter based in Paris, France. I wanted to talk to you today about how to start doing gigs again at the time of COVID if you have to and how to stay safer. So stay tuned. So I've gotten back into doing gigs and the two types of gigs that I'm doing are either in the open air, like outdoor gigs or they're indoors for private parties. So I had one of these long-standing private gigs, right, on private property. And when I asked them for details about how it would all go down, what they told me wasn't really a huge comfort. They said, well, the guests will wear masks, except when they're inside eating dinner. And you'll be performing inside with them during dinner. But don't worry, we'll open some doors and that was all, you know, well and good, but I thought to myself, you know, what if we're there and there's no breeze? It's like a really still day. Or what if there's inclement weather and they don't want to open the doors like they thought they would be able to? So I decided I need to take precautions and I need to find a mask that's going to protect me on this gig. So I did what you now are doing. I looked to the internet and I found like some really crafty singers that were making these duck bill masks and I'm not crafty at all. I knew that was not gonna be the way for me. Uh, I also found the work of this ear, nose and throat doctor. I think he's in Kansas City. I'm going to link his video in the description below. I really appreciated what this doctor did he had a singer sing a single line of music in four different ways with no mask on with an n95 mask with a cloth mask and with a surgical mask and he asked people informally what sounded the best to them you know there were no visuals just what sounded the best to them in terms of the sound quality and the results were really consistent people were able to identify the sound of someone singing without a mask and they preferred it as you or I would too. And what came in second place was the surgical mask. So based on that poll, I knew I wanted to try to wear a surgical mask to my gig, but I thought I needed to try things out before I got there. So I ordered a box of surgical masks. This is a basic three ply surgical mask with a bendable nose closure. And I put it on and I was like, this thing is humongous, right? And it, it really does not say like, Next party. I, I totally, totally get why singers are struggling with this. It's not all about the sound, it's also the look. Thankfully, the internet is always there for you. So once again, I went back to YouTube and I looked and found a video by a nurse who very graciously explained that there, in fact, is a way to make a surgical mask fit better. I'm gonna to link to that video in the description below, but I'll also show you really quickly how to do it. All you have to do is you take this normal mask and you fold it in half so the outside is exposed on both sides. And then you just make knots as close as you can to the body of the mask itself. you'll see that there's still a lot of open space. Okay, right here on the sides, now, now there's this open hole. And you wanna fix that. So what she suggested doing was taking these pleats from the front and folding them back behind the knot. So you go ahead and do that on both sides. Just take the pleats, push them back till they go behind the knot you've just formed. And just like that, in a really, really simple process, you create a mask that is smaller and that also projects from your face. So cool. I got this mask that now projects away from my lips. It sounds pretty darn good, but one problem remains. It doesn't look good. So I needed to solve the appearance problem of this mask and at first i was like <laughs> because what do you do when you want to make something adorable you put glitter all over it so i started looking online for solutions 
and I looked for all sorts of different cover-ups. I looked at masks. I found a lot of really cool Halloween masks that I'll keep in mind for October this year where we do socially distanced Halloween parties. I also saw Lady Gaga who went to the MTV Awards wearing a series of masks. I saw three, but she probably did more than that. She had these like incredibly beautiful outfits and then she put on like a gas mask or an astronaut helmet, which I don't know how functional that was, but I love her for playing with this idea. You know, fashion's not about practicality, uh, but it is about kind of playing with culture and the time and I think she does that so well so yeah masks for her were like this year's meat dress and that's pretty rad anyway I found something definitely less risque and more cost effective so I'm gonna put my mask back on and show you what it is it's a really really simple chiffon cover-up and it's almost transparent. So it's not meant to function as a mask on its own. So I put it on and like, I don't know, this is father, very father tiny to me. Like, let me stroke my chiffon beard. I don't know. You're probably not thinking that, fine. It's just me. And Basically, you take this bit here and you tie it behind your neck. Kamsa, like that. Again, this outside sheath is not serving any health function. It is just there to make the mask more alluring. This is my sexy face, can you tell? Just kidding. I'm not gonna pretend that wearing this mask and this coverall are the same as wearing no mask. They're not. But that's also the point. I knew I wanted to wear a mask. I knew I wanted to be safer when I went out and sang because I didn't wanna spend two weeks worrying. On a personal note, I've had a few friends who've had COVID one had COVID back in March, right at the beginning of the outbreak, and he was fatigued for about three months after. Another was a student of mine who I taught online after he suffered from COVID, and he was all recovered, except for the fact that he had symptoms of asthma that kept up for about two months. These are not outcomes that you want in your life or I want in my life, right? And yet we have to be professional. We have to go to work. I am so happy to tell you this worked out really well. It was, I admit, kind of this crazy plan. My band looked at me and was like, you're gonna wear a mask on the gig. Like nobody's doing this, Maddie. Why would you do this? And I think I've made my reasoning really, really clear whether they got it or not. I was so glad to have this mask. When I ended up in this room and everybody took theirs off, when people started talking to each other, getting really close, when they ignored social distancing, I also have to tell you, I felt like I was modeling a behavior for them because we don't want to be in a pandemic. We want to just have a moment when we're not worried. But for the moment, we need to stay vigilant. After the gig, people came up to me and they told me, you all were amazing. They said, usually when we have these kind of parties, people peace out by 9.30 at night. They want to go home and watch Netflix. And everyone stayed to the end. So cool. Before I go, I do want to mention one point about ecology, and that is as awesome as these masks are, they are plastic derived and like anything plastic derived that means they're not going to break down in nature if you wear them i would like to encourage you to wear them 
for moderately high and high risk activities, not for your moderately low or low risk activities. For those low risk or moderately low risk activities, please get a cloth mask. Me, I have a Star Wars mask because I will be a child forever. And I think it's really cute. I've got Yoda on my mask. I've got Darth on my mask and Han Solo. Yes, I have Princess Leia and she's way too small, but that's another qualm. Whether you're a singer, a singing enthusiast, or someone who just got lost in a black hole of the internet and ended up somehow at this video watching till the very end, please go ahead and like and subscribe leave a comment let me know how life is going on in your corner of the world during this pandemic what are you doing to adjust tell me some of your solutions and like i said if you're an artisan small business person craftsperson and you have something to share please let us know that would be awesome i would love to know who you are much love to you stay safe stay musical